Matters. It's Madeline. And it's Mary Houston. And, and the, the rundown, rundown starts right now. Special nominations have been made for two of our faculty members. Lily Hutless gives us a better insight. Tonight at Eastridge at 6 p.m. is Loyola's annual Hall of Honor banquet. This year, two of our Loyola faculty are being inducted. Coach Laura Wolbert, class of 84, and one of our science teachers, and Coach Mike Green, class of 83, our vice principal of discipline and head football coach. I spoke with them to see how honored they really feel. Uh, coach LeBlanc was the one who was charged with calling me and letting me know that I had been selected to the Hall of Honor and when he got me on the phone he's like where are you what are you doing and he said are you sitting down and and I sat down and he said you've just been inducted to the Hall of Honor congratulations and I was totally blown away uh, not something I was expecting uh, but I am truly honored uh, for the for the recognition uh, when you look at the the other Hall of Honor members, uh, their pictures hanging on the wall downstairs and, and people that I've known for, for years and years and years, it's, it's a great honor to, to be included in their company. It is such a humbling and an honor to be going in. I, you know, I walk in every morning and I look at the pictures and uh, it's, I'm, I'm just so honored and also the two people that I'm going in with, I, I couldn't ask for any more, uh, you know. Th that's also an honor to be going in with them. Um, I just, this is my home and I just, it's, it's a great, great feeling to be, to know that my picture will be up here with all these other people and uh, I just spent my whole life on this block. So it, it's, it's almost like, uh, you know, I, I I hope this doesn't mean this is they, they get rid of me after this deal. So uh, no, but I, I'm so excited, so honored, and uh, and I'm just glad to be here. Don't forget that tomorrow during halftime at Loyola's game against Green Oaks, our faculty will be inducted into the Hall of Honor. This has been Lily Hutless. Congratulations to Coach Laura Wilbert and Coach Mike Green. Monday was our second retreat of the school year. Ravi Ahuja tells us how the freshman retreat went. You may have noticed that the hallways were a little less crowded on Monday. This is because the freshmen went to their retreat at St. Elizabeth in Seton. Coach Viabla and some of the freshmen tell us how it went. Hi everyone, I'm excited to share about our freshman retreat we had at St. Elizabeth in Seton uh, here. And we just wanna share uh, all the great things that we had. We learned about authentic love because God is love. And Braden Johnson, the speaker that was all over the diocese, shared quite a bit uh, with the students. He related with them and shared all the good things that he has learned in his journey of faith. We had other speakers who came out to support a great retreat team. We had even tacos for lunch, uh, thanks to Ms. Brown and her team in the kitchen. It was all in all the best retreat I ever experienced with my freshman class. We're hoping that they will use this time to grow closer to Jesus Christ and let this be a day of prayer. I had a lot of fun at the freshman retreat and we played a lot of games and learned a lot about love. Yeah, we had a good time. Uh, the speakers were fun. I really enjoyed the freshman retreat. We learned how it's important to keep a good relationship with God in our lives and we had tacos. Those were good. I really enjoyed the freshman retreat and the speakers that talked. We hope you had a great time at your retreat, and we are looking forward to the junior and senior retreats. This has been Ravi Ahuja. What a great first retreat for our freshmen. Thanks, Ravi. Hey, Mary Houston, what are you doing for fall break? Oh, nothing, just staying home. Well, I wonder what some of our other students are up to. Well, good thing Molly Cavanaugh is here to tell us their plans. Did you know fall break begins tomorrow? Well, if not, now you do. But I'm curious, what are our flyer teachers doing for their fall break? Oh, hello. I see you there. I'm going to be camping over fall break in the Ozarks. 
All right, for fall break, I will be out in California, LA, having fun in the sun and surfing a little bit. My plan for f fall break is to sleep as much as possible. I'm having the best fall break I could ask for uh, starting Monday morning. Well, for fall break, I plan to go to Puerto Rico. Not decided yet. I'll decide tonight. And if I decide to go, then I'll be at the airport at 4.30 tomorrow morning. Sounds like you all have quite the time planned. This has been Molly Cavanaugh. What a fun weekend for everyone. I know I missed football last week. Well, it's a good thing it's back. And Angel Fam is here with our sports report. Our fall sports teams have been continuing to work hard as I dive into this week's sports report. Last Saturday, our cross-country team traveled to Baton Rouge for the SJA Invitational. Emily Anderson and Mark Henry led the team. Earlier this week, our volleyball team played Calvary. After a hard fight, they came up short. They are looking to bring home a win against Manny tonight. After a week off, our Flyers are ready to compete against Green Oaks this Friday. They are looking to continue to build momentum for their first district game. It uh, should be a good matchup for us. Hopefully we ride the momentum from a uh, homecoming game against Red River. So I think we have a really good shot at uh, being very competitive in our district and getting those power points so we can earn ourselves a playoff game. We are so proud of our Flyer sports teams. Keep up the good work. This has been Angel Fan. We hope you enjoyed this edition of The Rundown, presented by the Media Arts Class. Enjoy your long weekend, Flyers. See, See you next, next week. Bye. Bye. John Luke, shush. <laughs> okay, ready? Wait, that was funny. Okay. John Luke. Mary. Yeah. Be quiet, John Luke. Shut up, you're being annoying. <laughs>